here we are on the game over menu it shows who won the game and the option to restart or play again and in this video we'll implement the main menu so for this we'll add to this menu an option to return to the main menu so let's create the text for this option text game over main menu the text will be press E to exit to the main menu this basically will contain the text with the game over menu message let's add here a main and now where we're showing the rest of the option messages we'll have this text let's copy this we just increment the row and change the text variable let's test now Cool, so now there's an option to exit to the main menu. So let's create now the procedure to show the main menu. It could be here below the draw game over menu. So let's call it draw main menu. Let's Finish this. Red command. Uh, let's create now the text for this menu. Right here on the text variables. Let's call it maybe text main menu title this will be very simple just a simple text called main menu and this will be the text with the main menu title now remember that our game will have two modes available so single player where you play against the AI and the multiplayer where the two players are human so let's add an option for the single player mode text main menu single player and you select the option by pressing the S key so single player and you press the S key and we can comment this too. This will be the text with the single player message. Let's copy this. And now for the other game mode, the multiplayer mode, we change this to multiplayer. let's change this to uppercase and here instead we'll use the M key so let's change this to and this to multiplayer now 
we also have the option for the player to exit the game so text main menu exit and we'll be using the E key so exit game and we press the E key to exit the game So let's implement now the drawing code to show this text. Let me copy this code we've already used to show a text on the screen. And now on the procedure, first we clear the screen, so we call clear screen. And now we'll display the text. Let's change the text of the title. and let's comment the rest of the options we'll have. So will be the single player option, the multiplayer option, and finally the third option, the exit message. So let's copy this code to show a text and we just need to change the text and don't forget to change also the row. So let's let me change here the row. We do exactly the same for the exit text. Let's paste this. And now, for this menu to work as pretended, we need to wait for a key press for the different options available. So let's just copy the code from the game over menu, the code to wait for a key press from the user, this right here. And now we're waiting for a key press. So let's go back to the other menu we already have the game over menu and let's add an option to return to the main menu we just created so so now until now we're displaying the text but not waiting for the exact key press. So now if the key uh, E is pressed, we exit to the main menu. Remember that we are on the game over menu. So let's do the comparisons with the E, uppercase and lowercase key. And if this is pressed, we exit to the main menu. Let's create here this label and here is very simple we say that the game is not active and also we change the current scene being displayed to be 0 and 0 will be the index of the main menu scene And this will be a new variable that we will use to keep track of the current level, menu or scene we're currently at. So given this variable, we'll draw the main menu or the game, for example. Let's create now this variable, this new variable. And 
let's start this variable with 1 and 1 being the game 0 the main menu and 1 the game so 0 is the main menu and 1 is the game now here on the roots and art of the game where the main processing occurs we check to see which scene we're currently at so let's do a CMP the current scene and if it's zero we show the main menu so we jump to the show main menu and let's add here Here we draw the main menu and jump again to the main processing. Because we have those jumps here, we can move this red command below all of these labels. Let's paste it. Let's change the current scene variable to zero. And this way, our pawn game starts on the main menu instead of the actual game. So let's test this now. And cool, now we see an awesome menu. Let me change now, for example, the current scene to one, so you can see that we start on the game. And let me assemble this again. Let's run the game and cool. So now, as I've told you, the game starts on the actual game instead of the main menu. And now if we wait for the game over menu, we can press the E key to return to the main menu. Awesome. 